on the game chief here today i'm going to be doing a video on setting up archon on your daisy server after the 1.13 update this should be pretty quick and easy to get started so let's go ahead and get started and cover how to get it all set up so first thing i am using omega manager you don't have to be using omega manager batch scripts it's the same thing i am going to shut down my server first in case you have it running and the first thing we need to do is find our be server underscore x64.cfg file. And I'm just going to go to day Z. I'm going to go into a server. Server zero is the server that we do all the testing on. And you need to find your profiles. Um, typically, this will be just called profiles. It might be called server name or something like that. You can tell that, that you're in the correct folder. If you go in here, you should see some logs from your server running, some ADM files, some RPTs, stuff like that. That's how you know you're in the right folder. And then you're going to go ahead and go into battle line. And as you can see here, I have the BE server underscore x64 DLL. So that's good showing battle lines running out of this directory. And then we'll need to create a BE server underscore x64 .cfg file if you don't have one already. I already have one, but I'm just going to rename this to old. And I'm going to right click new text document. And it is important to have the x64 in there. So instead of .txt, I'm going to do .cfg. And you can see how it says text document right here. When I change this, it's going to ask us if we want to change the extension, which we do. We'll hit yes. Now it becomes a CFG file. You can more easily see if you click on view up here. Go ahead and do file name extensions. Make sure that's enabled. So it's just a bit easier to see. So we have a blank document here. And there's a few things we need to make sure we have. I'm just going to open up our old document as well here. And sometimes if you have a pre-made BE server, you'll actually have some of this stuff already in here. But what we need is we need Archon password. And then you have to come up with a password. Typically, it's better if this is randomly generated. But I'm just going to put something temporary in here for now. Obviously, don't use something like that, but just so we have it. And then we're going to set restrict archon zero as we don't want to restrict it. That basically, if you set that to one, makes it to where only your local machine can access archon. In our case, we want other people to be able to access it. So we'll go ahead and open that. And then next, here comes the important part, is the Archon port. So by default, it's typically recommended to do plus three. So in this case, um, our game port is 2302. So we would want to change this to 2305 plus three of the game port. You can make this really whatever you want as long as you open the firewall, um, as long as it's not the game port or I believe between plus two. However, plus three is what most people use. It's easiest, so we'll do 2305. And now that everything's in here, I'm going to go and save our file here. And we're going to go and restart our server. And then just like your game port, you know, 2302 needs to be accessible to the outside internet. So does your Archon port. So what we can do is we can pull up the firewall and do Windows Defender Firewall for advanced security. And I have to run that as admin. And with the firewall open, we can look at our inbound and outbound rules. And if we see here, we see a bunch of DayZ entries, including some for Archon inbound. In this case, it's actually already set up by Omega Manager. But in case you don't have that, what we'll do is a new rule. It's going to be for a port. And it's going to be UDP because Archon uses the UDP protocol. And then whatever port we have for Archon, so 2305. Click Next. We want to allow the connection on all of these. Yep. And then allow Daisy Archon port 2305. Finish. And I'll go ahead and create the new rule. And that will allow it through the Windows firewall on your machine. 
And then if you do have, if you're behind like a NAT or a different external firewall, you'll want to make sure you forward that in your firewall as well. And we are currently logged into our router here. And just to show, we do have this rule created to allow 2305. And so if you need to port for 2302 for your game server to work for people to join, then you'll need to do 2305 for your Archon traffic to work as well. And we have that opened in our router right here. Every router is gonna be different. You're just gonna to have to look up how to port forward on your own router. There's no real sense showing you it here because you're not gonna have a PFSense router. And to verify this is all working as we expect it to, we have Dart, an Archon program here. We're gonna go ahead and run this. And this is a new setup, and we'll go ahead and do okay on this. And it's gonna go ahead and autofill some information for us. So this 127.0.0.1 basically just says the local machine. Since we're running Dart on the actual machine that's associated with the server, that's fine. The port's gonna to default to 2302. We'll need to change this to 2305, as that is what our Archon port is running on. And we're just gonna go ahead and open up our BE server file again and we're gonna copy in the password we created. So we paste that in there, we hit connect, and it tries to connect, it says it's connected. Then Archon admin number zero logged in, we see that right there. And that means our Archon connection is working. We can do test here. And we can see that it shows up. And you'd be able to interface with your bands.txt, your player database, your Dart your local one, stuff like that. So that does show everything as far as a local install of Dart's working. If you wanted to run Dart, say, on your own computer, so your own computer, you would just go ahead and change this to be your public-facing IP address of this machine. So if we were running this from a different machine, we'd just change the IP to be that, and then we'd hit connect. This isn't going to connect just because we're on the same machine. You can't address it by its public IP address like that. So we'll just go ahead and swap this back to 127.0.0.1, so the local machine. Oh, and I crashed it because I left that in there. And we're able to reconnect and we are good to go. And as one final test, we'll make sure that Archon works for third party services. So we do have CF Tools Cloud here set up for the server. We're gonna go to manage here. And as you can see, it says the Archon password's wrong. So we'll go over to our settings here. It's actually under modules, yep, Archon details. So you'll see lots of services ask you for your Archon password. We'll go and paste that in there. Oh, if I got to recopy it. So we'll paste that in there. It'll ask for your Archon password, your IP address, your game port 2302, that hasn't changed. And then of course our Archon port, which is 2305. We'll go ahead and hit update connection details. And that should be good to go. I'll save and apply. And if we go back over to the dashboard, we can see the uptime is just now because it was able to reconnect and it shows, you know, players and stuff like that. So we should be good to go. And that's about it, real simple to set up. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on the video or join my Discord server, which is always in the video description. Joining the Discord server allows you to DM me. There's also a channel for general support where myself and others can kind of help jump in, fix issues sometimes, stuff like that. And if you guys have any video suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And on that, have a good one.